Very good. All right. So if you're just joining us, I did inform, um, we're going to start with a towel today. You can also use a resistance band, um, something that's not too small, something a little bit longer. Okay. We are going to start with a seated power um, today, but with the towel. So everyone, I want you to sit, if you can, closer to the edge of the chair. That way your back is not resting on the back. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up. So very good. Okay. So we're going to start with 10 power ups. Make sure we're focusing on our posture while we're doing this. You're going to start with the towel down at your knees. You're going to come forward. And then as you come up for this one, I want you to reach up above head. Okay. So we're going to do 10 of those. I want you guys to count out loud at home. Try to be as loud as you can. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Down, up. One, down, two, down, three. Nice big motion. Down, four, down, five, down, six. Good. Seven, eight. Really feel that stretch. Nine, 10. Very good. So since we have the towel, we're doing a little bit modification. Next is our power rock. So uh, I want you guys to reach out above head, across, trying to stick out the opposite leg like so. So it will be a reach across like so. I want to try for 10 each side. So that means 20 total. So bear with me. <laughs> All right, we ready? And let's go. Reach, one, back, two, back to center, three, center, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, good, 13, 14, 15, almost there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good, guys. Saw some nice big motion there. Um, next one's going to be the twist. So usually we clap as we twist, but we're going to keep our arms open today. Still want to focus on turning the trunk and trying to turn the hip as we move. Okay. So it'll look like this. We'll turn, come back to center, turn back to center. So we're going to be alternating. We're going to try for 20 again. If you can count out loud. Okay. Ready? And twist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven. 12, up nice and tall, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo, that was a lot of twisting for keeping up with me, guys. Okay, next one is going to be the step. This one, I, we can use your arms if you want, but mostly it's going to be a step out, back in, out, back in. I like to keep my hands on my thighs. Don't know why. I'd keep a little distance between the towel because hopefully you're stretching the towel as you step. 
okay? So we're gonna try 10 each side, so another 20 today, okay? And I am gonna be going back, left, and right, stopping in between the center. All right, ready? Let's go. Out, out, back in. One, out, two, three, four, make sure we're sitting up nice and tall, five, six, really trying to lift those legs, seven, exaggerate that step, eight, nine, ten, halfway, <laughs> eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, I will see it tomorrow. Okay. 16, almost there. 17, feel the burn. 18, one more each side. 19, 20. Woo. Good job. That's a lot of steps, guys. <laughs> so, okay. Now I want to put it together for five flows. So we're going to put all four of those moves together five times. We're going to go to the right first when we have the ones that are side to side. If you don't go to the right, it's okay. Just make sure you get both sides when you do this. Okay. So we're going to start with our power up and then we're going to move straight into the other ones, connecting them. Ready? So down, up. Then we're going shift. shift. Now we're twisting. Turn. Turn. Now we're stepping out. Center. Out. Center. Good. One. That was one. We're going back down. Up, shift right, good, left. Now we're twisting, make sure we get those hips in there. Twisting the other side. Now we're stepping. If you want, you can keep your arms out. I might make work your shoulders a little bit more. Good, that was two. Back down, now we're up. Reach one side, good, reach the other side, good. We're twisting, back to center, twisting. Good, now we're stepping. Nice big steps, good. That was three, I think, good, back down, up. Reach one side, reach the other side, good. Now we're turning. Center, turn, center. Now we're stepping. Good. Okay, last one. Down, up. Reach one side, other side. Good, now we're turning. Twisting the other side and stepping out. Bring it back to center, other side, back to center, five. Very good, everyone. Okay, I felt like that was a pretty good warm up. I know I'm feeling warmed up. So for this next part, um, it's gonna be sitting if you want. If you want, you can do it standing. I will show it sitting myself. As I show the exercises first, I will show the alternate to standing. If you need the chair by you for balance, please keep it by you. Okay, so for this one, you might need your hand weights um, and that's about it equipment wise. Now you don't have to use them. So the first exercise, just I'm just showing you guys before we go through them, it's gonna be a, a row. So as you pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, okay? 
really trying to focus on posture, sitting up nice and tall. You can do this standing if you want, okay? Okay, next one. You are going to go across and then down towards your foot in a diagonal. So I want you to, if you can, use your eyes and head to come with to try to get the whole body moving. Okay. So we will do this circuit twice, one diagonal, one way, and then we will switch and go other diagonal the other way. If you want to do this standing, you can. You're coming across, coming down like you're chopping some wood, okay? So kind of hinging at the hips, okay? Coming down and back up, okay? This next one will be sitting. If you want, you can hold your arms out like this. So make the shoulders burn a little bit. We're doing five second holds, kicking straight. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five. Then we switch, you kick out the other one, two, three, four, five. Okay, last one, I'm gonna put my weights down. You're gonna cross the body into a march. So you're gonna tap your knee, tap your knee, and then I want you to tap opposite ankle. Ankle, so it's knee, knee, ankle, ankle. If you have the balance, you can do it standing, but that's a long reach. So you really gotta be able to stand one leg at a time, okay? So if you want to do it standing, go for it. I'm gonna do it seated though, okay? We are gonna do each exercise for 45 seconds. You get 15 seconds rest in between, okay? So I got my timer here. We're gonna start with our rows, okay? Okay, make sure we're pulling back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Reminder, if you wanna do it standing, you can. Good. Nice big motion. If you really want to add, you can pretend you're punching on the way out, pulling in, punch, pull. Very good, everyone. Good, 10 more seconds. Very good, okay, hand weights or not, okay? Or if you just wanna use one so you can hold it on the sides like this, okay? Each side, we're gonna go up, down towards the opposite foot. Good, really focusing on going through the motion, okay? Stretching on the way up. Try getting that neck involved too. Get that whole spine moving. Good, everyone. Nice big stretch, good. Try to remember which side, which foot you're going to because we're gonna have to do the opposite next round. Almost there. Very good, okay. Next one, if you want, you can hold arms out with or without weights. We're doing that five second kick hold, okay? Good, kicking one, two, three, four, five. Switching, one, two, three, four, five. Switching, kick it, hold it, one, two, three, four, five. Good, switch, one, two, three, four, five. If the shoulders are getting tired, you can put those arms down. Still get the kick, three, four, five. 
Good. Switch feet. Kick. One, two, three, four, five. One more. Kick. One, two, three, four, five. Good. I really felt it on my shoulders on that one. Okay. Next, it's going to be crossing the knees, then tapping ankles, okay? Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Cross knee, cross knee, ankle, ankle. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Still trying to sit up tall, which makes this one hard. Really tempted just to bend over and reach for those ankles. Knee, knee. This one reminds me of like hacky sack. <laughs> knee, ankle, ankle. Again, you can do the standing if you really want to challenge your balance. Very good. Okay. That was the first time through that circuit. If you guys need some water, definitely grab some. We're going to go and do that all again, those four exercises, um, for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest between. If you need to make any changes with your weights, or if you want to try it seated or standing this time around, you definitely can do that. All right. I'm going to wait about 10 more seconds just because I see some people are grabbing their water. And then we will get back to our rows. Okay. I see most people are back. All right, we're going to do this again. So... If you have weights, you can grab them. We're going to start with our rowing. I'm going to get my timer going. All right, and let's go. Pull back. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good. Nice big arc of movement. Really trying to straighten those elbows as you come out. If you're not remembering to breathe, maybe try doing this with your breath. Breathing either in and out during the part of the exercise you're doing. Very good, okay. Next is going to be our disco diagonal one. I liked it better with just one weight in my hand, but you guys can hold two if you want. Whichever leg you weren't reaching for, switch to that one. So up, down, really trying to stretch. Good. Make sure. Stretching on the way up. Reaching for the foot on the way down. Good. If you want, you can watch your hands. That way I know eyes and head are also moving in that direction. Almost there. Very good, rest on that one. Next one we have our kicking five second holds, okay? If you want, you can hold weight or not hold weight. Arms forward. Now we're kicking one knee, we're holding it. One, two, three, four, five. Switching legs. One, two, three, four, Five, switch. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five.
five, switch. One, two, three, four, five, rest. All right, I'm putting my weights down. Next one is our knee touch to ankle touch combo, okay? If you wanna challenge the balance, you can try it standing, cross, reach ankle, ankle, knee, knee, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Good, make sure we're sitting or standing up nice and tall. Try as much as you can to bring the leg towards you. Still reaching with the arm, but not necessarily reaching forward with the back. Good, 10 more seconds. Knee, ankle, ankle. Very good. Okay, that was our circuit number one. Okay, next one, if you guys need some water, you can definitely grab some. We are doing another four different exercises. This time I will show them standing, but you can do them seated. I will show variations of each one so you can choose which ones you want to do, okay? So the first one, you are going to imagine you're in like a four square, um, I don't know, game. Okay. We're going to do stepping. Okay. So if you're in the front left square, I want you to do a side step, back step, side step, forward step, kind of like in a circle or a square. Okay. 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 And then we can reverse it. Okay. If you need the chair in front of you, you can maybe just do side steps. That way you can still hold on to the chair, but we're getting some different directions. Okay. If standing is not in the cards, you can do it seated, but with your heels tapping. You can tap forward, side, back, side. So you're still making that square. You're just sitting tapping instead, okay? Next one, it's going to be two jumping jacks and then a punch series. So if you can jump, it would be jumping jack, jumping jack, cross, cross. If you need the chair in front of you, you can do jumping jack, jumping jack, cross, cross. If you need the chair, same motion, you can do seated jumping jack, jumping jack, cross, cross. So it's two and two. Okay, next one, if you need the chair, you can do this with or without. You are going to step back, lean forward, alternating feet, okay? So if you wanna see me from this side, I'm stepping back, leaning my bottom back, reaching forward, okay? If you need the chair, step back. You can do one arm at a time. Okay, if you need something to hold on to, okay. If you want to do it seated, you can do same thing. One foot's kicking out, you're reaching forward from here. So if you want to see me from the side, okay. Last one is going to be a march with the overhead punch. Okay, if you're doing it standing, if you really want to work that cardio system, you can do it faster. Okay, 
You can do it faster seated as well. So those are our four exercises, okay? I am gonna be doing them standing, but just know you can do them seated. All right, we ready? All right, we're starting with those square steps. Good, so you're gonna go to the side, back, forward, back to where you started. You can focus on taking nice big steps. If you're doing it seated, do seated steps. Trying to step with your heel. Good. Good. If you want, try to get those arms involved too. Get some arm sling going. Good. Next one's going to be our two jumping jacks and then the cross, cross. So this one you can do seated. You can do seated jumping jacks, cross, cross. Ready? Jump, jump, cross, cross. Jump, jump, cross, cross. If that's too hard, you can do one arm. Jump, jump, cross, cross, jump, jump, punch, punch, good. You need to do it holding onto a chair. Good, just try to keep moving. Even if it's just getting the hands involved sitting. There we go. Rest. Good one. Next one is our step lean back. So you're going to take one step backwards, kind of shifting forward. Okay. I'm going to be alternating my feet. Doing this seated, you could take a step forward and still lean forward as you're stepping. Trying to reach overhead. Good. If you need to keep the chair next to you, please do. You can do a one arm lift to hold on to the chair. Very good. Okay, next one is our march with the punch. If you want to add those hand weights, definitely go for it. You want to do it seated, I'm trying to do opposites. Kind of like you're running up a ladder. Very good. If you want to try to challenge yourself, you can try to go faster. Good. Nice big steps, nice big punches towards the ceiling. Still thinking about our posture. Trying to sit or stand up nice and tall. Very good. Okay, we got through the first round of that. So everyone drink some water if you can or you want to. I know I am. And then we are gonna do that again. So same thing, if you wanna do it seated, please do. Um, the hardest one I think to mimic is the, the stepping one. But if you wanna step forward, I'm trying to show. Yeah, like step out to the side, back in, or just seated marching if you don't have the room, just to keep the legs moving throughout. All right. Mm. 
Okay, I will wait another 10 to 20 seconds until I see people trickle back in and then we will do that again. 45 seconds of exercise, 15 seconds rest. If you wanna use hand weights, you can. If you wanna incorporate finger flicks as you're punching or lifting, you can do that as well to try to help extend the fingers, okay? So you can incorporate that as well, especially if you don't have hand weights, okay? Very good, I'm gonna start in five. We're gonna start with those square, like a square dance step, okay? Good, stepping side, back, side, forward, bringing it all the way around. Last time I said, let's get those arm swings in. If you're seated, just trying to focus on taking nice big seated steps. Different directions if you have the space. Using the chair if you need to. Good. Almost there. Very good. Okay, next is the jumping jacks with the punches. So sitting, you can sit, still do the jumping jacks, punch, punch, standing, one leg or both. Ready? Jump, jump, punch, punch. Jump, jump, punch, punch, jump, jump, punch, punch. Good, jump, jump, punch, punch. Jump, jump, punch, punch. You also don't have to actually jump, you could just do a mini squat during the jumps. I'm just bending my knees and coming up, punch, punch, jump. Jump, punch, punch, jump, jump, punch, punch. Good. Next is our step back with our forward lean. So if you need the chair, put a step like this. If you're sitting, you can always, if you're sitting, do something like this. So you're stepping forward, reaching up, okay? You can try to alternate your feet. Good. If you wanna add those finger flicks, do so you reach forward? Like you're, you got water on your hands, you're trying to fling it off. All right, last one. It's going to be our opposite punch and lift. If you want hand weights, you could use hand weights. Finger flicks if you want. Good. Same motion if you're sitting, trying to do opposite arm, opposite leg. If you need that chair next to you, you can just do one arm because you're holding on to the other. Very good, 15 seconds left and we're done with the circuit. Seeing some nice big motion from you guys. Looks like you guys are hitting the people on the screens above and below you. <laughs> Woo! Good job. All right. You guys can get some water for this next section. We will be going on the ground if you can. So if you have a mat or just are comfortable being on the ground, that is where we are headed. 
you need a chair to help get down to the ground, please use one. If getting down to the ground is not an option, we will. you can do it seated. And it will be very familiar to our warm up today, the seated power moves. So you can do it with or without the towel. It is up to you. I'm gonna set up my mat real quick. Before I move my camera closer to the ground, I'm gonna review seated power for those who cannot get to the ground. So seated power, when I say power up, it's a lean forward coming up like this, okay? If I say power rock, it is rock across, trying to straighten the opposite leg, reaching over to the other side here. Power twist, you're gonna twist, clap your arms and hands together, twist the other side. It might go a little faster if you're sitting because if we're on the ground, we have to roll over. So that takes a little time. Last one is the power step. So the out in, stepping out in, okay? So that is seated. If you cannot get to the floor, I'm going to move this so you guys can actually see me. All right, so we can start here either with knees bent or knees straight. If it hurts your back to be down with the legs straight, you can bend the knees. It might take some pressure off the low back. But if you can, legs nice extended, arms nice extended, then you're gonna imagine somebody has a string on your chest and they're gonna be pulling you up towards the ceiling and then down. So we're gonna do 10 here. If not, you're gonna do the seated power ups where you bend forward, come up. Are we ready? We're hopefully you're counting at home. And lift up, one, two, pushing in the ground as that chest rises, three, four, five, six, digging those heels in, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Next we have our rock. So you are going to reach up overhead, trying to push through the opposite heel as you reach. Okay. So we are going to do 10 each side, okay? If you're seated, you're gonna do the diagonal reach up and over, okay? All right, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Next, we have our power twist. So again, if the back's bothering you, you keep knees bent. If not, legs apart, arms out to the side like a T. You are gonna try to turn over, clapping the hand, coming back on your back. And then other side, turning, coming back. It is helpful to use the leg to help push over for some assistance. All right, 20 total. I want you guys to count out loud at home. We're ready and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Exaggerate that movement. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Okay, for this next one, we are going to be bending our knees. You are going to try to step out out so legs are apart and then I go back in towards the center in okay or we could go we could add a little uh lift of the hips too so actually let's do one foot out have that other foot follow it lift your bottom towards there step back to center lift your bottom towards the center then to the other side, stepping, lifting the bottom, stepping back to center, lifting the bottom. We will do five each side, 10 total. Um, if you are seated, you are doing foot motion like this, out, out, in, in. If you're on the floor, you're going to be lifting those hips to the side that you just stepped to and back to center as well. All right, let's begin. So go out to the side, out to the side. Lift your bottom up, back to where you came from towards the center, lift up. Then you're going opposite side, lifting up, back in to center. It's one total. Out, out, lift, in, in, lift, other side, out, out, lift, in, in, lift. That's two out of five. Out, out, lift, in, in, lift, other side. Back to center. That's three. Step, step, lift, step, step, lift, back to center, step, step, lift, step, step, lift. That's four. Last one, out, out, lift, step back to center, back to center, lift, other side, out, out, lift, back to center, back to center, lift, and five total. Good. All right. I love the flow. So we are going to do five flows while we are down here. Okay. If you're seated, you are going to put them together seated. Okay. Very similar to what we did this morning to begin our warm up, but with or without the towel, if you want. Okay. So we're going to start with our power up. Ready? Power up, down, then reach. Good, switch sides, reach. Now we're twisting, turn, back to center, turn, back to center. Now we're stepping, step out, good, back to center, out, lifting your bottom if you're on the floor, if you can. That's one, extending back, we're gonna do another power up. Power up, down, Reaching one side, back to center, other side, back to center. Now we're twisting. Twist, open up, twist, open up. Bending the knees. We're stepping out, out, in, in, out, out. Lifting the bottom if you can, in, in, good. That's three, back, we're going up. Down, reaching one side, reaching the other side. 
Now we're twisting one side, twisting the other, and we're stepping out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. I actually think that was three, I apologize. <laughs> Two more, up, down, reach, reach, opening up. Now we're twisting, twisting. Now we're stepping out, out, center, center, step, other side, other side, center, center. Last one, ready, power up, down, reach one side, center, other side, center. Get ready for a twist, open up, twist, open up. Last step, so you're going out, out, in, back to center, switching sides, out, back to center. Woo, very good. The four ones are hard, okay. So we are going to end with some stretching, some breathing, okay? So we will be getting off the floor into our chairs. Please take your time getting back up to a sitting position. Please use a chair if you need to, okay? And I will meet you there in about a minute or two, okay? Okay. It looks like most people are sitting, so we are going to start with some stretches. So starting here, arms out to the side. I want everyone to take a nice deep breath in as you come up. And then I want you to say, ooh, as you come down. So like you're going through a straw. Ready? So up, breathe in. Out, ooh, down. Up, out. Ooh, as you come down. We're going to change to ah. Coming up, then ah on the way down. Breathing in, ah as we come down. Very good. Okay. Next, you guys, I want you're going to put one elbow on your um, thigh. I want you to reach over if you can to try to stretch the trunk here. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Good, okay, we're switching sides, okay? Ten seconds. Good, let's do some shoulder circles. So you're gonna imagine the shoulders coming forward and back. Let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. Cross one arm over the other if you can. If this hurts the shoulder, maybe lower it a little bit. Let's add five finger flicks on the arm that's being stretched. Ready? One, two, three four, five. Good. Rest those arms. Let's switch sides. You're going to reach across, trying to pull that arm over to the other side, hopefully feeling a stretch on the back of the shoulder. Let's add five finger flicks on this side. Ready? Count out loud. One, two, 
three, four, five. Very good. Okay, let's do some wrist circles while we're here. You can do closer away from the body. Do some circles, really trying to stretch. Three, four, five. Try switching directions. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I want you guys to reach for your opposite knee and then try to reach and twist in the chair, trying to look towards the arm that's reaching behind you. Good, slowly come back. We're gonna do two each side. So this time I want you to switch legs that you're reaching for. Other hands reaching for the back of the chair. Try to turn your neck and then tie your back if you can to try to look behind you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Slowly come back. One more each side. Reaching across for that knee, reaching for the back of the chair. Take some nice deep breaths here. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly coming back. One more on the other side. Reaching across. Reach for the back of the chair. Trying to turn. Nice deep breaths here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. If you are able to, you might need to go back in the chair just a little, but bringing the knee up to the chest. I always like to add ankle circles while I'm here. Trying to just keep that ankle flexibility. Good, all right, let's try to switch sides, okay? Either grab it on the front of the knee or the back. If the knee doesn't really like to bend, I find holding the back of the thigh might be a little bit better because you're not stressing that knee to bend as much. Try getting that ankle moving a little bit if you can. Very good. Okay, if you're able, we're gonna try to cross one leg over the other. If then you're able to bend that other knee, Good. If you don't feel a stretch, you can take the hand on top of the knee that's crossed and push it towards the ground, but please be gentle. Most people find a stretch just being in this position, so. Very good. All right, let's switch sides. So bring the other knee over. If you want, you can push the knee down just a little bit. Give it a little extra stretch. Very good. All right, bring that leg down. Next, we're going to stretch our hamstring. So pick one leg to straighten out in front of you. Okay, trying to keep that knee straight during the stretch um, is important. So I like to put my hand on the knee so it doesn't creep up and try to bend. You're going to lead with your shoulders and chest forward, trying to tip forward until you feel a stretch on the back of that thigh. Okay. Hold it here. Take some nice deep breaths. Good. All right, we are going to switch. So other leg, try to straighten that knee. I like to put my hand on the knee just to make sure it doesn't try to bend on me. And then I am trying to reach and lean forward at my trunk. So I'm trying to bend forward. Hopefully you'll feel a good pull on the back of the knee or the thigh all the way up to that sit bone. Good, 
slowly coming back up. Okay, that is all I have for today. I enjoyed working out with you all.